Hi everybody, Kim here, and I am going to be just showing you a couple little tips about the best shoe to wear for dancing, a dance class. As we're going to be dancing outside on concrete, there's some shoes that you should definitely not be wearing to prevent injury. So I'm just going to show you some of the things that I have to let you know what may possibly work and what wouldn't, okay? So. So here is my accoutrement of shoes that we are going to go through, just to give you an idea. Now, the very first shoe I'm gonna grab, this is my Rika. It is meant for dancing and it's a women's dance shoe. It's very nice and form fitting. And if you see on the bottom, there are these circles. The circles are great for dance class because it allows you to twist and turn and pivot. So this is the best shoe of all to wear. Now a few other alternatives, well actually let me backtrack here and show you what not to wear. So this shoe right here, oh it's a lovely shoe, I absolutely love it, but look at the bottom. There's all these spikes. This is more of a lifestyle or a walking shoe, so to speak. All of those spikes, they're not gonna allow you to twist and turn. So what could happen is they are gonna be very sticky and they are going to cling to whatever surface you are on, which would mean if you turn, try to turn to pivot, what's gonna happen is it's gonna stick and your body is gonna turn and you're gonna sprain your ankle. And that's exactly what happened to me last year. This shoe is perfect because it will allow you to twist. This one, not so much. It will stick to the ground and your ankle will twist. So avoid shoes that have a very sticky, pointy, deep tread like you see such as that. Of course, this is a lovely hiking shoe and it's meant just for that. Do not dance in that. I like this shoe. It slips on very nice and easy, but it's very elastic-y. All of this is elastic. You don't want to dance in this because your foot will slip out of it. Now here's a very old sneaker of mine. It's an old Skechers and it I've had it probably for about eight years if not longer. And the tread, uh, ma the majority of the tread has worn down. This is something you can definitely use because it's not going to stick to the pavement as much. So if you don't have a really good dance shoe, this would be my second best option. I'm gonna go through a few of these other shoes and show you the bottom. This, yes, possibly a good dance sneaker. Here's a tennis shoe, court for tennis specifically. A lot of spiky things, but look it, it's not spiky in the sense of on the surface, it's more down below. I would probably advise against that. Here's a nice shoe I just bought. Look at the bottom. Adidas, yes. I would probably go for this as an acceptable shoe for the dance. We've got a little pivot here. So when you go up onto the balls of your feet to turn, it should be able to work well. And it's not spiky. Here's another shoe of mine. It's a slip-on. It's pretty sturdy, but not a lot of tread. So those are my tips for shoes to wear during some classes, especially if you're dancing outside. Um, of course, inside as well is the perfect thing that we want, but if you're going to be in concrete, definitely be careful with the sticky, high, spiky tread shoes and opt for things that have a very low tread and spirals in it to allow you to pivot. That is what's most important. Uh, stay low impact, don't be jumping around so much, and that's gonna allow you to wear shoes that are going to be a little bit more flatter, such as, as this or this. All right, this is Kim signing out, Fun Do Fitness. I hope to see you at my new Bollywood dance classes starting back up this year at a new location. All right, peace out, and within. Bye-bye.